Ambrose has gotten his mark from the two-point area. Found this range from the three. Two of two so far. 23 in the game for Ambrose. Oh! Graceful move by Nahorda. Just could not finish. So it's still a 68-61 lead para sa Ginebra. Under two minutes to go in the third. They go outside Ambrose. Here's Monroe. Now, Ginebra's defense has limited Monroe to just two points here in the third. And now he attacks and he has nowhere to go. He got his own miss. Bagong shaklak para sa Barako. He tries again and his persistence pays off. That was a tough shot for, Am for Sammy Monroe. 25 points, four points here in the third quarter. Ginebra almost making a conscious effort to collapse every time Sammy Monroe touches the basketball. Nebra goes inside, and Villanueva will miss. Has that big size advantage against Chad Alonso. So right now, it's a five-point game para sa Ginebra, 68-63. One minute remaining in the third quarter, and Monroe goes in and out on that three-point attempt. Willie Wilson clears the rebound, but he was pushed by Reed Huntilla. This happened in front of the Barako bench. So first personal, laban kay Nahorda. Ginebra's fired 23 points here in the third after scoring 24 and 21 in the first two quarters. On the other side, Barako, 20, 18, and 25 here in the third. Yan ang number one fan ni Willie Wilson. Huh? Hmm. Willie Wilson won some championships for uh, the Dallas Southwind Archers in his uh, collegiate career. At uh, kanina nga, binanggit natin si Enrique Villanueva na nanggaling naman sa Ateneo de Manila. Meron naman tayo dito si Celina Cruz na naglaro naman para sa Far Eastern Tamaraws at si Ronald Tubin from the UE Red Warriors. That was a free throw brought to you by BMAG Derby Ace Premium Formula. Dito ko na sa Lamado. Ako naman po si Miko Halili. Di po naglaro sa UAAP. Nangarap pero hindi pinalad. At kasama ko po ang dating ace guard, scoring guard ng UP Fighting Maroons back in the day. Back during the golden years. <laughs> Ronnie Magsano. <laughs> Parang gusto mo sabit back in the yester years eh. And here's Vergara firing away. No go. No, naglalaro pa si UP si Coach Ronnie. Tatlo pa lang ang team sa UAAP. <laughs> Back to the game. Oh. He never with a 7-point team. Under 30 seconds oh. left here the third. May oras pa ako. <laughs> Hindi pa FBU doon. Manila Central University pa ang tawag sa kanila. And Miller will miss. <laughs> Ten seconds to go. Hihikain In the third. third. And Monroe will slow things down. They will go for the last sentence of the third chapter. They're down by seven points. They go to Alvergara with one to go. Drop pass, and that ends the third period. Ginebra still posting a seven-point margin. Heading into the third. Firing 25 points in the third. On the other side, Barako also scoring 25 points. Continue leading way for the Barako to the 11 points. Atfield playing with the third, 10 points. 14 rebounds. And we'll bring in a payoff period between Ginebra and Barako Energy Coffee when we return. Championship Capital of Philippine Basketball, the Araneta Coliseum para sa PBA Wednesday. Uh, magandang araw po sa inyong lahat. Nico Halili kasama, ang aking partner. Panalo! Ha, panalo sila sa last game. <laughs> panalo si Jason. Procla Proclamation Day. Yan. I am proclaiming you. Thank you, ha? partner. Winner. winner. Winner in my heart. Yeah, winner. So, thank you, partner. <laughs> So we hope you're enjoying our uh, special coverage of the PBA Fiesta Conference, Labanang Hinebra at Barako Energy Coffee Masters. And, uh, you know, Hinebra, they've, they better be careful, Coach Ronnie, because uh, they are keeping uh, the uh, uh, Coffee Masters around. Huh? They are staying within striking distance in this ball game. Well, Hinebra is trying its darndest best to create uh, more cushion against them, but Barako's shooting in the third, courtesy of Vito Tillia, enabling them to stay closer to the Gen Kings. Ang kagandahan lang dito sa Hinebra, their zone defense is holding up. Let's see if they'll be able to contain Sammy Monroe's explosion the way they did in the third. 
dito sa very crucial fourth period. But you're right. We'll have to congratulate the kasama natin, Jason yeah, Wren, for uh, uh, returning, uh, returning to the uh, Arbatao Council. Yeah. At uh, sama na natin dyan si Yoyong Martinez, <laughs> ang isa sa mga pioneers ng PBA na nagwagi bilang uh, vice mayor sa Pasig. Yoyong was one of the all-time PBA entertainers. Oh, huh? oh naman. Huh? Speedy, Speedy Gonzalez. Arriba, arriba. And here's Nahorda. Nahorda against Tubid. Tubid hasn't seen much action in this ball game actually. Oh, it's isang uh, malalarong nag-struggle din. Sa pagdating ni Willie Miller, probably sharing, uh, losing some minutes with the entry of Willie Miller in their lineup. Then a tough shooting night para kay Miller. Pero lumang pa rin ang Hinebra, 72-65. Sam Monroe with his sixth point in the second half. That's just a smart play for Sammy Monroe, realizing that this is a smaller front line. No Hatfield, no Ambrose. Taking that ball strong to the hoop. Nice block by Nahorda on Villanueva, and here's Vergara. Vergara on the move, he steps on the brakes. With uh, nearly two minutes having gone by in the fourth and final quarter. Nahorda with a height advantage here, turns around and scores. Good decision by Al Vergara. Who, although he's not scoring well to here today, finding the open teammate, only a three-point margin for the same team. Back after this timeout. Points is the lead in favor of the Barangay Hinaba Gin Kings here at the fourth quarter. Back with us here at the Big Dome. Let's talk about what the Baracos game plan is from here on now. Coach Janelle Bakuli was actually talking about how they really need to play better defense, particularly in the post. They're also getting burnt inside, so they really must look for those outside shots, which will also help loosen up Hinebra's zone. Now, over on the other end, Coach Jong was talking about how important it is to bring the defense with the team, get the fouls, and rebound that ball. Miko? Well, thank you, Patricia. We be begin the fourth quarter with Inebra on top 72-69. Just a um, three-point lead here. As yes, Coach Jong Uchigo mentioned what he, what he wants uh, Eugene Kings to do, and that is to go inside. On the other side, Coach Junel Bacoli emphasized the need to defend the strength of Inebra in this ballgame, which is going inside, scoring from the interior. But Willie Miller comes out here in the fourth, firing seven points in the game, first two points in the second half for Willie Miller. Wow, Maracos bench doubling the efforts of the Hinebra bench as the Horda on courts. So we're still in the early moments of the fourth and final quarter. And here's Milton Ambrose, the Hinebra import. He attacks, he loses the ball. Picked up by Nahorda, and now Reed Untilla with the leather over to Monroe. Inside Nahorda. Nahorda, good move against Eric Mink. He may be undersized in the four spot, but definitely is much quicker than the defenders that he has been faced. Nahorda off the bench once again, scorching with 14 points. We mentioned that he is the number one local scorer for the Baracos. Over three minutes, having gone by in the fourth quarter, Mink falling away against Rob Reyes. Reyes with the rebound. Marago down by just three points, and Vergara attacks, attacks, and misses, and might be an over the back foul there against the Horda. It is. Golden chance by Al Vergara to cut the lead of the Gin Kings, but he overshot the mark. The Horda had that second chance. Look. Was called for going over the back. Woody Hatfield back in the fray and Marcus Parkegiwa likewise about to make his re-entry. And Willie Miller will be uh, switched to the point guard position against this much smaller Alvergara. Ito yung puesto ni Miller for Team Pilipinas. He was yes. uh, his point guard. Correct. Joining Kagiwa, Hatfield, Ambris and Mink on the floor. A strong move by Hatfield. Oh, the Jim Kings uh, get the ball back, but uh, Menk is blocked. And here's Vergara, nice pass for Nahorda. Nahorda, sidestep, beauty. And the ball ends up with Miller. Minebra on top by just three points. As we near the eight-minute mark of the fourth. And Kagiwa goes in. Oh. Uh, Kapos sang layup. Rudy Hatfield uh, caught stepping on the baseline. Bola pupunta sa Barraco. Both teams missing point-blank shots. Chance for Hinebra to increase their lead, which stands at three. Golden chances on the other hand for the Baracos to inch closer but bungled layups para dito sa ating dalawang 